Hello everyone, I'm Alain Provo from Solid Experts by the Solid Experience Group, welcoming you to the tips and tricks. So, today we're at part two of my SWIT series. So, last time we saw how we organized our folders for the libraries, and, and I, I thought that it would be a good thing to see how I could create a cabinet now from scratch with the SWOT tools, no tricks, no magic, plain basic. So let's jump inside SOLIDWORKS and see how we can do that. So I'll open up my SWOT design section. We remember where I created my folders and I'm gonna start uh, creating something in the room. So I need a new model. I'll use the by default template of SWOT to create a cabinet. And, and, and it's already created inside my library now. It, it's part of the room library now. So I can simply rename it. So uh, let's do a nightstand. So a little nightstand like that, rename, and that's it. I can start editing the model to be able to create my brand new cabinet from scratch. And, and it's gonna be pretty easy because what I wanna show you guys is by installing the SWOT solution, not even having uh, built or created any templates or particular stuff to uh, prepare like for a demo or stuff, I'm gonna simply use a generic panel that comes out of the box with the SWOT solution. So what I'll do is I'll insert the coffee to be able to start the cabinet assistant that exists inside the solution. So right here, what I want to do is click on the cabinet solution and this will help me create my nightstand. So simply by clicking the side I want and with a short key on my keypad, the C touch, well, I was able to um, constraint my panel on the sketch. Oh, let's select the other side like that. Constrain it again. I'll select the bottom and I'll show you how easy it's going to be to simply take the arrow and constrain now the length of that panel to the inside of my cabinet. And this is a pretty easy way to constrain my model, not having to create sim singular panel and then assemble them in an assembly of SOLIDWORKS. I'm using the SWOOD tools to be able to do that. And now what I can do is take the bottom, simply drag it, and you see where it was constrained. Now that constraint I can edit because I want to add a dimension. My bottom is gonna be a little uh, higher so that it's gonna be able to uh, create automatically legs on my model because I want my side to be the legs of my model. The other little, little trick I want to show you guys is that since I'm inside a tool for SOLIDWORKS, um, I can still manage to create constraint by SOLIDWORKS if I need. So I'll do a mix and match of the, the two worlds. So it's going to be like a simple trick to uh, make sure that the top is going to be a little bit larger because I want some edges on each side. It's, it's a nightstand, so I want a, a larger top than the cabinet itself. So simply dragging it again like this, I'll be able to constrain the front and the back, but I don't want to constrain the sides yet. So the top, I want to constrain, but I want the top to be on the panel, not inside the panel. Same thing, simply pick the side you want, bring it towards where you want it to be constrained, and it's done. Right now, it's pretty much like I want it to do. I won't do the, the, the back and the, a shelf or a drawer or something like that, just want to do a simple shape of cabinet to show you how simple it is to work inside the solution. Now, I have a little signal, uh, an alert here that says to me that maybe there's a constraint that is not existing in the model. And it's true. So let me hide 
my uh, dimension here and and if I drag my panel you see that I can move sideways but not front to back perfect that's exactly what I wanted so now I can work with my SolidWorks tools oh right here like this I can select the faces and like you know inside SolidWorks it's easy it's gonna help me have the right constraint for what I want to do so I'll accept that con that constraint and now this means the top is perfectly centered on my cabinet so I don't want to save that yet uh, I'll keep on working now inside the solution if I want I can edit that and add some material wow fantastic this means that inside my solution now I can edit the panel I'll select the panel I want to edit and you see that's the dimension right now that I have for the panel and this is the exact dimension that I want now SWOOD to control so I'll select this face this face and I'll use the little green mark here that will accept the dimension I just signals SWOOD to use and I'll add some material so let's add 15 millimeter here and accept and that's it you see now I have a model that is perfectly parametric very easily so if I need to make changes the model will follow whatever I do no problem oh I hope this little trick to um, show you how to consider making new um, models for your library is so simple that it will encourage you to use the solution so don't miss out on the two other upcoming tips and tricks about SWOOD that will be around the material so I'll see you guys next time thank you for watching bye bye